everybody, it's Diane from Diane's Corner. Well, it's very quiet today. <laughs> the wind is not howling and the dirt isn't flying in the air. And I'm, uh, it's about 30 above, so it's, it's a little bit chilly, but pretty nice day today. I'm down ov over by the school here. And I thought, well, many people haven't seen this uh, area in here where the, um, we had been working a couple years ago. I thought maybe this would be a good day to uh, check out the school. Here's the little playground for the elementary kids. I don't know if I can get completely through the back here, but that's kind of where they, this is, uh, this is where the uh, elementary students come in. And um, here's their little sidewalk that they go to play. And they have this little court over here, and they've got um, sand, nice soft sand, all kinds of uh, little uh, play equipment for climbing and springing and bike racks. And uh, there's a lot of little uh, things to play with. Wish I had some students out here to uh, play here. They even have a musical uh, little xylophone and uh, little things. Oh, there's even the um, the music notes that you can play a little tune on. Now, if I knew that, I would have brought a. Oh, here's a little bell. <laughs> well, isn't that cute? And here's some picnic tables and a little bench to read. And we are looking at the back of the building here. Here's swings. And now um, here we're coming, see this would be considered the new part, the darker brick. And I suppose this would be the back side here of our building. And beautiful tree here. Yeah, and a uh, little bench and uh, here's a basketball court. Play some basketball. And here's a, another little building that they, somebody's taken some great, uh, let's just look at this artwork here. Isn't that nice? They've got the painting with the street and the Cougar's bus. There's the bus driver. <laughs> How nice is that? Okay, so this would be the steps that go up to third floor. Everybody from the 50s remembers that. In the 60s, maybe even the 70s as the study hall area. And um, here's some more of that artwork. Very nice. And then, um, okay, so now here, this is what, uh, is some of that venting that they put in through the area here. And that is kind of the update on all the, um, the remember that uh, they were talking about the mold and trying to maintain the right humidity in the various levels of the building. And uh, so that's kind of what happened there. And then this would be the shop building up here. So that's kind of the area in the back of the school, which you don't always happen to get a chance to see. And today uh, they have a lot of a kind of a quiet afternoon actually in town here. There's some more of that, that venting system that they created to keep the air quality. One thing about Belfield, they always had uh, kept up to date with the school and I know the, the band uniforms, oh my goodness, the, Moms got together and they had um, 
band uniforms for us when we were going to school here. And uh, that was quite a while back. But right now they've got uh, moms and different uh, booster club that keep the athletics going and um, also provide for the school in different ways. Now here I am, I'm gonna just sit down here a minute on one of these little things here. See how that goes, there. I brought along a little piece that I was gonna look at from December 31st and it talks about um, everybody's always interested in how many students does Belfield have? Well, this is from December 31st, 2020, Belfield School District regular school meeting. And the school board got the calculations here. Elementary principal report, current enrollment for 2020 and 2021. Pre-kindergarten is 20. Kindergarten, 20. First grade, 16. Second grade, 21. Third grade, 24. Fourth grade, 13. That's fourth grade. Fifth grade, 22. Sixth grade, 16. And uh, so the current enrollment is 132 students, K through six. And uh, so that is uh, the um, enrollment for this year. And then I'm reading from my, my little book here, the story of the Flickertail State. And it, it talks about um, the schools and how they decided to um, set aside land for schools because that was a, a new kind of idea and um, that was uh, let's see I'm looking here in my book let's see if I can find it um, this man by the name of uh, General Beatty he um, it was his pet idea and he made a trip he, it was on a trip that uh, General Beatty first mentioned his idea of trying to keep the school lands of the Dakotas from being sold uh, for a song as they had been in the states of Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin where he had lived. And so he, um, he spoke and wrote tirelessly on his favorite subject until his purpose was finally realized. Um, um, that was, um, the, they wanted plenty of land for uh, the school, the school land. So that it was him that uh, kind of put together that idea and got um, school lands. And uh, he visited um, Garfield in the winter of 1880. So 1880 is when this uh, deal came up. General Beatty visited James A. Garfield at his country home near Mentor, Ohio, and presented a plea for the public schools of the Dakotas. He was cordially received and spent several hours discussing the matter, securing the hearty support of that grand man who afterward became president of the United States. Returning home, General Beatty went on his task to, with renewed courage and energy on the train, in the stations, at the hotels, and at dinner. He talked um, school lands to everybody he met until the people caught his enthusiasm and began spreading the idea as earnestly as he did himself. From that time on, the success of General Beatty's favorite plan was assured. And so that is the beginning of the public school system in the Dakotas and how they um, uh, set aside land so that um, we could have that education system developed. So, so this is the backside of the elementary school. 
and then I'll just kind of take a hike. It's such a calm afternoon after having that storm of a wind come through, and wow, was it loud. It made a lot of noise. Howling. Oh, there's somebody's getting ready for Valentine's Day. I can see the window's got a Valentine in it. And uh, so this is the heading over here toward the front of the building. Yeah. January, <laughs> January 15th actually, middle of January. Makes me happy thinking of all the snow I haven't had to shovel this year. <laughs> Boy, that's quite amazing. So now here's the front of the building. Yeah, they do a lot with electronics. That's a big change. Everyone has uh, got um, iPads. In fact, in the school budget, there was, uh, they talked about the iPads and they talked about, let's go look at that a little more carefully here. Maybe I can see what, what it said. Kind of interested me. Um, something about the, I do remember though that we did not have kindergarten, uh, but the home ec students invited us in the spring to um, welcome us to the school. They, they found everybody that was going to be a first grader and brought them in and introduced us to the school and uh, had, had cookies for us too. So that was uh, pretty nice. Okay, there's all kinds of fiber optics and all, all kinds of funding for keyboards and tech for nine to 12 students, update staff, laptops, uh, 50 iPads with cases they bought, MacBook Pro iPad servers, flat panel displays to replace whiteboards. School is very different. And, uh, and so there, I guess that's our, that's our Diane's Corner for today. Thank you for joining me. Have a good night. Bye now.